I featured many artists on the show, but today's artist, he's a little bit different than some of the others. This is the first time that I've had an artist on who carves bones. Now all of these bones come locally from the swordfish fleet. His passion has in fact made such a name for himself that around here, he's known as Lazy Bones. Dan, thank you for being on the show with me this morning. Well, thank you for having me. I just don't feel right calling you Lazy Bones. I don't want you to think <laughs> I'm being mean or anything. No, I think it's complimentary. I appreciate it when you do. Okay, well then I will call you Lazy Bones. Dan, how long have you been in Key West for? Uh, 31 years I've been here. Mm -hmm. um, I love it here. I mm -hmm. don't go north very often. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? Originally in Nebraska, right along the Missouri River. Uh, bordering the Indian Reservation to the north side of us. Okay, so is it, was it in Nebraska where you started working on your craft? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, uh, I started carving when I was real little. I was probably 10 years old carrying a knife with me. I, um, partly on the farm, partly at a marina, and partly in town. But uh, it, the knife was always a tool, and I've always carved, carved something, stone, wood, or natural items. Have you had some accidents with that knife? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Any serious accidents? No, 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 no. Just okay. little cuts and scrapes. But, uh, and uh, the tools I use sometimes, I ding myself a little bit or mm -hmm. something. So you have just always loved doing this, Dan? Yes. But now here in the Keys, you specialize in the swordfish. Yes. Our viewers can see all of these bills behind us. Your mm -hmm. work is so beautiful, Dan. Tell me about this. Okay. I do, the main one is the curve. The keys have a, more of a curve than what is showing right here. I have to flatten it out to get it onto the bone. Everything's freehanded, so none, no two of them are, are exactly the same or correct. Um, I don't think I would use that as a, a map of the keys, Key West to Key Largo, but uh, you could probably get by if you was Captain Ron. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Very true. Now, how did this come about, though? How did you end up doing the swordfish bills? Well, the first time I saw the bones, um, they're in a lot different condition. When I get them, I get them raw. But uh, I took the time to figure out how to get the hide off of them. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a hide, they're part of a member of the shark family, so they have denticles in the hide, which is teeth. Really hard to sand them down. I uh, use a draw knife. Mm -hmm. uh, I cut the, uh, I take the hide off with a draw knife, and then I sand it. Starting at 80 grit, I go to all the way to 1200 grit mm -hmm. on the sanding. So that gives them a, a more of a polished look like this, this one here. Mm -hmm. but, uh, How long does it take you to do each one, Dan? <laughs> it, the prep work is where, in all things, I think, but in this is the, is a major part. It, uh, I took a course out here to the college to learn how to draw. Now I could carve three-dimensional. Mm -hmm. I did stone and, and wood and different things, three-dimensionals. Never a flat surface. This is not a flat surface, but I didn't know how to draw very well. So mm -hmm. I took a course out here at the college and learned how to draw to do these mm -hmm. uh, better. And uh, so, but I found them uh, on the boats. This used to be a discarded item. Mm -hmm. uh, they threw them away because they're dangerous on a boat. You don't want, uh, if you catch 30 of these fish, you got 30 of these boin bones around with sharp points sticking out, so the, it's not good on a bouncing boat. Right. Uh, they can be a little dangerous, can't they? Yes, <laughs> yes, they can. They're very sharp at the end. Yeah, I, um, uh, now I used to get them for free from the fishermen. When they'd save some, they'd bring them in, and, and uh, now there's more people buying them, so I, I have to uh, purchase them. But I've been doing them about 18 years, so I have a, a large collection of bones mm -hmm. to go buy. Now, I didn't even mention, Dan, you let me wear this necklace. Yeah. And this was something that you also carved. Yes. Tell well, me about these bones. Those bones um, come in off of a shrimp boat, actually. It's a bycatch to the shrimp boat. It's trigger fish. Mm -hmm. The trigger fish, uh, those are the jaw bones off of a trigger fish. And uh, it's pretty new to me also. I just started getting these in. I do a little of everything, different kinds of shells I've carved, mm -hmm. uh, even the barnacles and the different things. I make little jewelry and things out of mm -hmm. and uh, uh, out of the beef bones I, I carve the beef bones and those I do uh, jewelry um, flat slabs or uh, bones that are stand-up bones you just do it all Dan I try <laughs> <laughs> and now where can we find your work well I, I a lot of times I set up over at the hogfish bar over here they have a few artists setting up there almost nightly and uh, I'm one of them in there and also um, 
on my houseboat is a studio out on the water, mm -hmm. and people have come from uh, Key West Harbor Yacht Club. They've mm -hmm. come out by kayak and purchased bones from me out there, and also by Blue Planet Kayak since, uh, comes by and uh, was there to her, and they all know me, so they talk, stop and talk, and I show bones and mm -hmm. sometimes sell to those people. Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, I also am planning on going back downtown. I have a city license, mm -hmm. and I'm planning on doing it for the season, going back downtown um, to sell downtown. Good. You should be down there because then more people will be able to see your work, I feel like, if you're down there. Yes. Dan, do you think that you're going to continue doing this for a while? Yes. I, I don't see any reason to stop. Mm -hmm. Uh, and maybe uh, maybe I can improve and mm -hmm. find more objects. Mm -hmm. um, I like everything in nature, so maybe I'll find another item that's... That you want to work on. Yes. That you want to start carving, right? Yes. All right. If you want more information on Dan, you can shoot him an email with the email address you see on the bottom of the screen or give him a call at that number. Dan, thank you for being on and for th thank you for letting me wear your mask. No, <laughs> you really make it look good. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.